In this video, we're reviewing the Hello Sample from the Code Sample Library provided with the Flexi Capture Engine Distribution Pack. This sample shows all the steps you need to perform in order to leverage Abby's data capture technology inside your own application to make it capture and extract the data that you need. It's possible to run this sample directly from the library, but let's review the sample's source code first. First of all, we'll need to load Abby Flexi Capture Engine. Then, on the first step, we'll load the FC Engine DLL manually. And then, on the second step, we'll obtain the Flexi Capture Engine object. Here, we'll create an engine object using the initialize engine function. Keep in mind, you'll need to pass a developer serial number as an input parameter. However, there are two more ways to load the engine object. Each of the loading methods has its own specifics. You can either load the engine object into the current process or load the engine object into a separate process. You can find more details in the developer's help guide under Guided Tour, Advanced Techniques, and then choose the different ways to load engine section. Our next step is to process images, and for this, we'll call the process images function. First, we'll have to create an instance of the Flexi Capture processor using the Create Flexi Capture Processor method of the engine object. Flexi Capture Processor is a processor object which converts input images into Flexi Capture documents. The processor stores all the settings required for processing internally, such as document definitions and processing parameters. Then we'll call the add document definition file method to add document definitions since we have to configure the processor for working with documents. A document definition describes the location of document elements and indicates the fields that will be used during the data extraction process. There are a variety of ways and steps to create document definitions, but that will not be covered in this specific video. Also, please keep in mind, there's an alternative way to process images by using the pre-configured Abbey Flexi Capture project. You can find more details about this within the Developer's Help section under Guided Tour, Tutorial, and then choose Processing with a Customizable Processor Object. In the second step, we'll add images to process, calling the Add Image File method. Of course, in your application, you won't need to set up a name and a path to each particular image. Rather, you'll organize this process in a more efficient manner. Here, we show you the name and a path to each particular file for demonstration purposes only. On the last step, we'll recognize images one by one. For this, we'll call the Recognize Next Document method. In the event we didn't succeed in finding a match to our document template, the application will throw an error. Then we'll call the export method of the processor object to save the document into the specified file format. In our case, by default, it'll be an XML file, but you can specify your own export settings. And the last step will be to unload the Flexi Capture engine. We'll use the deinitialize engine function, which you can see here. We hope you enjoy working with the Abbey Flexi Capture engine. And for more information, please contact us today.